Hey guys, what's up? Bevan here in Freiburg and just coming out of the gym. Thought I'd give you a heads up about the video I'm about to show you because as I was editing, I just felt like it came across as a little bit rehearsed, scripted. But basically the main point I'm trying to put across here is that when interacting with anyone, put yourself in a state of compassion first. Imagine, consider their mortality in this case, imagine that this could be the last email they ever read. That's the main point of the email or of the video, but I encourage you to watch it but I'll try to improve the quality of future videos and make them more spontaneous and less rehearsed. So anyway, I hope you enjoy it. I get attacked by a tree in it, so that's pretty much the only reason I kept it in. But anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you next time. Hey guys, what's up? Bevan here in the Black Forest, and I wanna talk about how you can greatly improve the quality of your written communication, which I guess means email for the most part, but regardless, any way that you're communicating with people indirectly, this is gonna greatly help with that. It'll help you convey more compassion and just connect better with the person on the other end. So what's the idea here? Well, it's to, uh, before you compose your email, consider that this email is gonna be the last one that your recipient ever reads because they're gonna die today. It's their last day on earth. And uh, I don't say that to make you all sad or depressed. You know, obviously you don't wanna dwell in a state of depression. That's not gonna help your communication skills much. Um, but rather, do this exercise to put you in a state of compassion. Reflect on them as a human being. Don't just address the surface level subject of the email. So when you do this, when you reflect on their mortality, when you reflect on this very real possibility that it could be you know, the last email they ever read, then it puts you in that state of compassion from which your words are gonna better flow. So put yourself in that state. Your, your words are gonna express a lot more compassion. You're gonna be connecting with the person on the other end. And you know, again, I don't mean that you should be writing some super long eulogy about their life or some you know, super long recap of your relationship with them. No, you can respond to their subject, but when you write from that state of compassion, um, you're gonna be addressing the actual person primarily, and they're gonna feel it as well. You know, it's gonna have a definite impact on the content of your emails. And the most important, the most important point here is that even if it didn't have an impact on the content of your emails, it's still a very worthwhile practice to do. The reason for that is because it puts you in a state of compassionate presence. It breaks up the, the uh, a momentum of your mind-dominated life. So it turns your email time, which is normally this uh, you know, annoying time of uh, just knocking items off your to-do list or whatever, into, you know, I don't really wanna say spiritual, but it turn, turns it into a very meaningful practice where you put yourself in this uh, compassionate state where you, you know, make yourself present by doing this as a tree attacks me here. Um, and it's really beneficial and it's really for you. You know, so even if it didn't have an impact on the other person, even if it didn't improve your relationship with that other person, it's still something you want to do. You know, build your momentum with getting into the state of compassion. And uh, that's it right there. So I hope you put it into practice. I hope you uh, get some good use out of it. Um, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and also subscribe if you enjoy this video. But that's it for now. So thank you for watching and I'll talk to you next time.